What is going on guys? They call me Ampbeat. I've been on Thunder's channel a couple times. Thunder, you know the drill buddy. Really appreciate all the support, all the feedback, all the exposure you're giving me. I'm gonna cry. It makes me feel really, really good. Now, I really wanted to talk about some competitive Call of Duty here today on the channel. And we got some Modern Warfare 2 gameplay, so sit back, relax, enjoy the TDM. Different style gameplay, a little slower than usually I like to push forward, but hey, it was 33 and 7, it was a good game. So, just to jump back a few days, Call of Duty Esports meets X Games. I don't know if any of you heard about that. When the X Games do launch very, very soon, they're going to have like a small section of Call of Duty going on. And what does that mean for us exactly? Well, I can turn on my television when X Games are going on in Austin, and I'm going to be able to see the top three winners of Call of Duty Champs, the competitive Call of Duty teams. That would be Complexity, Envy, US, and Optic Gaming. Oh yeah, hell yeah, boys. Plus another five teams that have the most, the top MLG Pro points. It's just accumulation of points through the series, uh, through victories and stuff like that. So that's how they're going to do. Eight teams are going to be appearing at the X Games in Austin. And through MLG, they reached out to X Games. I don't know if it was that way or the other, vice versa. But now I can turn on my television and watch a Call of Duty. I don't, I don't know how that's going to work. Some people are getting really pissed off that we're going to be able to watch a Call of Duty. A little Call of Duty tournament on national television of double elimination going on in Austin, Texas. A lot of people don't like that, you know? A lot of people think of X Games as your standard vert, uh, skateboarding, motocross, ramp, you know, just a whole style of outdoor sports in which no gamers, no Call of Duty especially, should even be allowed to even come like within 100 feet of that place. But now you're mixing the two realms and it's really interesting to see the reaction. It's like a whole explosion of things going on. It should be on Drama Alert, to be honest, because all the people that have liked X Games in the past don't really like the Call of Duty community, but the Call of Duty community, I mean, I know we're all a bunch, but you know, we're not very nice. This community sucks ass, I'm gonna be honest with you guys right now, but this is a great opportunity for esports in general, because a lot of people don't take it seriously, a lot of people don't take things on YouTube seriously involving video games, and what we do, what we try to do, what we want to do with our dreams and all that shit. But esports in general, this would just be a huge exposure, a huge, almost like a lesson, like oh, an eye opener. It's a better word to describe it. For other people that just don't understand, you know, I don't just sit down and play video games all day. If I'm gonna go pro at Call of Duty, which I'm definitely not competitive, it's just gonna drain the shit out of me. But people can really understand what's going on behind the scenes. You know, I'm not just sitting down and playing video games all day. Oh, that's the majority of it. That is the majority of it. They're taking a video game that a lot of people enjoy, giving it a lot of exposure, giving the players a lot of exposure for what they do. I think it's pretty cool. I'm not really sure how much competitive Call of Duty Thunder watches, but I highly recommend it this time at the X Games just to see how it's executed. You know, this is the first time this is going to happen. And it's just be gonna really cool to see how they do it. You know, are they gonna put it like in between the motocross and the BMXing and, and the skateboarding, or are they gonna put it before Tony Hawk or, or preceding Tony? You know, it's just there's so many possibilities to do this right, but again, there's so many possibilities to do this wrong. You don't want to screw this up because potentially it could ruin the streak and get all of America to hate esports more than they do now. And think about that for a second. We are already hated by other people that don't really play video games. If you fuck this up, imagine what that would do to the community already. We're gonna be blacklisted by every corner in America, I swear to God, but... Again, guys, on the day that this actually happens, I really do think that it's not gonna be that well received, mostly because we're outnumbered in, in the grand scheme of things. There are more people that enjoy the classic BMX feel of outdoor dirt, street ramps, and all that good stuff over esports. See, that's just the way it is. Otherwise, this would have happened a lot sooner, but this is a great attempt. It's a great step in the right direction. I don't know if it's going to be received as well as people think it is, but I know I'm going to be sitting at home tweeting about it all day long, and I hope Thunder is too, man. You got to watch it. You got to see how this is going, because competitive is just a whole other realm of Call of Duty that a lot of people don't understand. It's really nerve-wracking, to be honest with you guys, and I don't really, I'm not a guy who watches much of other sports. You know, I'll put on a college basketball game here and there, but when I'm watching Call of Duty, when I was watching Call of Duty Champs, for example, you know, my heart was pumping, I was just screaming on Twitter all day. It was just a really cool experience, and you get to share that with the rest of the world. And it's just something that I don't think you guys should miss. That's, that's the bottom line, what I'm trying to get out of this video. If you guys haven't heard this news, I recommend you guys go check it out, do some Googling, because this is going to be worth it. And you guys get to see some of the greatest Call of Duty players in this country. Hell, even in the world, to be honest. 
compete. You know, Envy, Complexity, Optic Gaming, and those other uh, five teams that have the most MLG Pro points. I'm not sure what those are at the moment. They might have been announced. I haven't checked in a couple days. But either way, that's eight Call of Duty teams, eight teams trying to show their colors to the world. And top three from America. That's awesome. That's just insane. That's sick. I can't even uh, believe that America reigns supreme at Call of Duty. That's awesome to think about. But that is the end of the gameplay, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. Head over to my channel. Let me know what you think. This has just been my personal opinion about the matter. Feel free to disagree. I've been Ampy. I'll see you guys on the next one.